Trey Norris. Hi, this is Abram with Laptop Mag, and we're here today at the SAP booth with Karsten Kress, and we're talking about this uh, a, a vending machine of the future that takes advantage of your wallet in the cloud. So how does this work? So the wallet in the cloud would be connected to, for example, this vending machine. The vending machine really runs a smart, uh, a smart uh, application on top, uh, which is connected to the uh, to the backend sensors within the machine, um, and it provides us the possibility to actually drive marketing campaigns on top of what the vending machine actually holds itself. So on the one hand side, we've got a sensor on top of here. Uh, which actually uh, provides us the data of the people who stand in front of the machine. So for example, you have a group of uh, people like us here, um, three men and a woman, and uh, this would be recognized by the machine, and it can now uh, drive a personalized campaign to the audience that stands in front of it. So say for example, instead of um, changing the bottling inside, uh, you could run a campaign for a uh, uh, for a, um, say you have uh, Coca-Cola sponsors the, the next generation Batman film, and this Batman film could be uh, providing a trailer which is exclusive to Coca-Cola for that special day before actually the film goes live. So this could be a campaign that is driven then on the vending machine. So once you approach the machine and the target audience is identified, the machine can actually start this trailer uh, and, 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 and show this campaign very specific and very personalized to the audience without having to change the uh, infrastructure of the machine, without having to change actually the bottling, you don't need to change the, uh, the logos on the bottles, etc. You drive this, this, this campaign simply on the smart screen. Besides that, uh, what, what this screen has, it's connected to um, the, the whole infrastructure of, um, of uh, reassembling, uh, of, uh, the asset management of the machine, the, uh, the, the management of the, um, the engineering uh, of the machine. So say this machine would actually break and it's your best selling machine. So what do you do? Let me demonstrate that to you. So we are now pretending as if the, the machine would actually break. So now the temperature goes up in the machine and nobody really wants to uh, actually get a, a warm Coke or a warm Fanta, right? Uh, but you as the company who, who's actually selling, you know this is your best selling machine. So you want to have an engineer coming with a new compressor as soon as possible. So what we do in the back end is we have equipped all the engineers who are in the field with a mobile device and a mobile task management solution uh, and this machine would now um, provide a ticket right away into our big data analysis um, platform and this analysis platform would actually recognize how important that machine is and would dispatch the next engineer next to this machine as soon as possible to go there and, um, and repair the machine. Also, think about your best selling product is actually out of stock. So you don't want to have your best selling product out of stock. Uh, so the same applies uh, to the replenishment guy. Uh, the dispatching would actually be flexible based on the demand in the machine, based on the demand of the, um, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the predictive analytics, what is your uh, revenue that you gain out of it, what is your revenue loss, if you will not restock it uh, as soon as possible, etc. etc. So also here we will dispatch the, uh, the filling uh, to the machine uh, to um, to actually happen and take place as soon as possible or in the right uh, in the right schedule. Besides that, we know what is in the machine and what is not in. Uh, we can analyze this perfectly. So um, we can actually dispatch the uh, person who is filling up the machine with the right stock to bring. So the person does not go open the machine, uh, look in, write down what is missing, go back to his truck, uh, fill it up, go back to the machine. We actually bring the right stock to the machine at the first step. So uh, people who are restocking, refilling their machines are actually um, double or triple as, uh, as fast as before.
um, so we can have an increase of pro productivity in refilling these uh, these machines. Now, coming from a consumer angle again, what we see here is actually you can certainly make a purchase, right? So besides uh, using uh, using classical coins, we can uh, make purchases or pay with iBeacons, we can pay with NFC, we can pay with credit, uh, QR codes, uh, we can pay with credit cards, etc. So all of those capabilities are here. Uh, in, this, in this case, we have the capability to pay with your phone. So you can uh, tap your phone and, and pay from there. Yeah, thank you. So perfect. Now we've we've used the phone with the NFC device to um, quickly get yourself a, a, a Fanta. Uh, now this is nice, but let's say you know tomorrow is your friend's birthday and you would like to present a gift to him. So what we've done is um, we we have a sort of gifts, for example, that you can present. So now, let's take this one, and re this vending machine is connected to your social media environment, so to so social network. So you can provide a gift on the vending machine to uh, your best friend. So she can pick it up at any other vending machine uh, that is connected to the same uh, to the system. Uh, free of charge because it, it was paid for you and gifted. So your friend will receive a message, a push message, into her second screen uh, for the vending environment. Because that's the next, uh, the next uh, great thing we have. This vending machine is not standalone. So anything that runs here can be extended to your smartphone device and run as a second screen here. So say you have the, uh, the Batman film, the Batman trailer campaign. Uh, and you, you have provided it to uh, one of your best uh, customers on the vending machine, but this customer cannot uh, run it um, on the machine because he has to run into a, uh, a train. So you can extend this to the second screen of the, your smartphone device and he can continue with his process over there. So those are the capabilities that we can do uh, and we can certainly extend it by further, uh, further means uh, of social marketing, um, marketing purposes and, and campaigns that we can bring to market.